Welcome to kidsacademy.mobi. Hello everyone. Let's open the worksheet. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe to our channel. You can find the link to this app in the comments below. Today we're going to be looking at a worksheet called Christmas Cookie Subtraction. Let's read the directions and look at an example so that way we're ready to solve the problems on this worksheet. Subtract using regrouping. In each row, circle the correct total. Let's look at an example before we get started. Let's take for example that number 321 minus 17. In this problem, you'll see that the top number in the ones place is smaller than the one, the bottom number in the ones place. You can't take away seven from one because one only has one to give. So we're gonna have to borrow from the tens place. And the two in the tens place really represents 20. So when we take one away, it becomes 10. So the 10 that we're taking away, we're gonna have to give to the one in the ones place. 10 plus one is 11, so the one just becomes 11. Now you can take away seven from 11 because 11 has seven to give. So let's count upwards from seven to 11 to see the difference between those two numbers. Seven, eight, nine, 10, 11. 11 minus seven is four. Now we can just move along and continue subtracting. One minus one is zero, and three minus nothing is three, giving us an answer of 304. Let's use this strategy of regrouping to help us solve the rest of the problems. Our first problem has us subtracting 956 minus 37. We have the same situation as we had in the example. The top number in the ones place is smaller than the bottom number in the ones place. So we're going to look next door to the tens place and borrow a 10 from 5. 50, or 5, will become 4, and that 10 that we borrowed will add to 6, and 6 plus 10 is 16. So our 6 becomes 16. 16 minus 7 is a problem in which we'll probably have to use our fingers, so let's count up from 7 to 16. 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. 16 minus 7 is 9. Just like before, we can continue subtracting from right to left. 4 minus 3 in the tens place leaves us with 1, and 9 minus nothing in the hundreds place is 9, giving us a difference of 556 minus 37 of 919, our first answer choice. Let's go ahead and circle that. Our second problem has us subtracting 472 and 14. A similar situation. The top one is smaller than the bottom one. You cannot take away four from two. Two only has two to give, so it must borrow from the tens place. If we cross out seven in the tens place, turn the seven into a six, or 70 into 60. The 10 that we borrowed, we will give to the two, and that makes it a 12, because 10 plus two is 12. 12 minus four, again, we'll use our fingers. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. That gives us a difference of eight in the ones place. Six minus one is five. That's an easy subtraction problem. And four minus nothing is four, giving us a total or a difference of 458, the second answer choice. Our third example has a subtracting 860 minus 35. I noticed that in the ones place there's a zero. It has nothing to give, so we're going to have to borrow from the tens place. We can borrow the 110 from 60 and turn our 60 into 50, or 5, and give that 10 to the ones place. Now we have 10 minus 5. That's an easy subtraction problem. 10 minus 5 is just 5. Subtracting from right to left, 5 minus 3 is 2, and 8 minus nothing is 8, giving us a difference of 825 our first answer choice. And finally, we have 592 minus 76. In this problem, again, the top ones place number is smaller than the bottom ones place number. We're going to have to borrow from the tens place. 
but he doesn't mind. He's got plenty to give. Let's take away 110 from 9, which is really representing 90, and turn it into 8, which now will represent 80. We'll take that 10 and give it to the 2 in the 1's place, making 2 a 12. 12 minus 6 is 6. We can continue subtracting from right to left. 8 minus 7 is a difference of just 1. And 5 minus nothing is just 5, leaving us with a total difference of 516, our first answer choice. Remember, boys and girls, if the top number is smaller than the bottom number, even if it's in the ones place, the tens place, you have to borrow from the place next door. You're borrowing the value of that digit. So if you borrow one from the tens place, you're really borrowing 10. So you can add 10 to the previous place. Thanks for watching, boys and girls. We'll see you next time. Like us and subscribe to our channel. Find links to our apps and comments below.